today I'm going to be talking to you about another plastic free toothpaste that I'm trying out. If you've been watching me since I started with my 30 day plastic free challenge, you know that I tried a charcoal powder toothpaste that came in a little glass jar with a metal lid and it was absolutely disgusting. Side note, I've had some charcoal powder toothpaste that weren't disgusting, but they came in plastic. So, as I've been continuing to try to change my life habits in after doing this 30-day um, challenge, then you know that I've been looking for alternatives and other ways that I can replace things little by little, trying to change my life to something a little more sustainable and a little bit less wasteful without completely changing my life around just because I know if I were to set an example a lot of you don't want to give up your normal everyday go to the store pick up your luxuries you don't want to make your homemade lotion homemade toothpaste it's just too much work so when I've been searching for these replacements I've been keeping that in mind and trying to keep the convenience mindset and the set that most people probably aren't going to want to make drastic changes, but if they could make changes that are not that difficult while also taking care of the planet, then they might actually do it. So that's what I've been doing over the past several months since my plastic challenge started, and I just recently ran out of my regular toothpaste. Um, like I said, after the 30 days, I pulled out all the products that I still had already bought and just wanted to use those up. So recently I ran out of toothpaste and went on the search for a new plastic free toothpaste. This is David's whitening anti-plaque fresh breath fluoride free sulfite free peppermint essential oil based toothpaste is the thing that I found to be the most like actual toothpaste that most of us are used to. and. It's not completely plastic free, although it does come with a metal tube in a cardboard box. But the lid on it, as you can see here, is still plastic. So the lid is still plastic, but the entire tube is metal. It even comes with this handy dandy little thing that I think you slide not sure how to use it. I think you slide this on somewhere and help squeeze it down as it runs up because maybe it's harder to squeeze than a plastic tube. I'm not sure. But this is what I'm going to be testing out today and we'll see if this is something that we can switch to. It is a little bit more expensive than regular toothpaste. I have yet to find anything that costs the same as our normal convenience stuff, which is part of the reason why we all stick to plastic versus other. But taste is another one of those things, so we're at least going to see if this tastes good and is like a regular everyday toothpaste or if it's something that's going to be unbearable. Here we go. This is my old plastic toothbrush that I had refills for. I did switch back from the bamboo toothbrush because if you remember in my bamboo toothbrush review video, it shed its bristles and it had a woody taste, so I'm going to definitely have to look for another bamboo brush once I run out of these. But for now, I'm back to the old plastic one. And we're going to see what this tastes like. Smells a little crazy. It's like I can smell the peppermint, but there's something weird. It's not toothpaste. -y. foam as much as regular toothpaste did, but it tastes pretty good, it tastes pretty minty, it does have a little bit of a like a baking powder soda taste to it, which is one of the ingredients. So I'll post a link to this below 
so that you can check it out. But just so you know, the ingredients are calcium carbonate, purified water, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, vegetable glycerin, hydrated silica, xylitol, sodium cockle glutamate, carrageenan, menthopiperta, which is peppermint oil, spearmint leaf oil, anise seed extract, wintergreen leaf oil, and stevia. It's made in the USA, so that's cool. Support your local country. Just has this little bit that's plastic. Um, I think it's pretty good. I could definitely brush my teeth with it every day. The only thing that concerns me is that calcium carbonate, which is a limestone abrasive, and baking soda are two of the main ingredients, and I've never actually read the back of my regular toothpaste. Let's do that. The active ingredient in the regular toothpaste I use is stannous fluoride. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Inactive ingredients, glycerin, PEG8, hydrated silica, pentasodium trisphosphate, flavor, sodium laurel sulfate, titanium dioxide, blah blah blah, it's all, you get the point. It's not the same ingredients as this. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So I wanted to compare ingredients because I've read various articles on brushing your teeth without plastic and a lot of them have mentioned baking soda as an alternative, but I've also read a lot of articles where baking soda is way too abrasive on your teeth. So I wanted to see what's, if it makes a difference if it's mixed with other things, or if baking soda just should not be used on a regular basis for your toothpaste. So I'm going to be researching that and seeing if this is something that you could use on a regular basis. I've read in several articles about homemade toothpaste and a lot of the ingredients that are in this David's toothpaste are similar to the ones that you would find in homemade toothpaste. I've also found other alternatives, but they aren't like regular toothpaste. They're like soap or tooth powder or charcoal powder or tooth tabs, and none of them remind me of the feeling of regular toothpaste, which is what I was trying to find just in a plastic-free version. What I'm thinking of trying next, I've tried tooth soap before and I've tried powders, but I have heard that there's some brands of soap in specific that don't have a soapy flavor. So what I'm thinking of trying for a month is only using this David's toothpaste once a week and using the other soap product of some sort or even just brushing with water I've heard is good for the rest of the week because I really don't want to be using baking soda regularly when there is some conflicting arguments about whether or not that hurts your tooth enamel. So, I will be giving that a try, but in the meantime, this does seem to be a viable alternative for anyone who wants the regular toothpaste feel. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too.